Welcome everybody. My name is Tom Devine. I am with Bullet Train Cables and today I am here to talk about our brand new cables. These are our extremely long, extremely powerful AOC cables. And what does AOC mean? Active optical cable. So they actually have fiber optic inside the cable. And we are going to actually even look at what that looks like um, to have fiber optics inside and how that can help you. Now we're going to talk about these cables, why they're important, um, what makes them the best for integrators, why a custom integrator, why a person who is a, a professional installer would choose the bullet train cable um, over um, the other options out there. So let's get right into it. Um, we are doing this training today. If you are viewing it live, you can put any questions in the questions tab um, in your GoToWebinar control panel. If you are viewing this on YouTube later, understand that we did do this on through a GoToWebinar software. So that's probably why the resolution doesn't look as good as we would want it here at AV Pro Edge. Um, but I thank you for tuning in and I hope that you guys uh, learn a little bit. I do have this slated for a half hour. Know that it probably isn't going to last that long. We're talking a, 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 a bullet train a HDMI cable. Many of you are already familiar um, with these cables. What, but what we're introducing here is those extreme long lengths in the cable. So um, what we're gonna talk about is three new products and they are the same product they are just at different lengths and so that is going to be the bullet train aoc hdmi cable it is comes in the two new lengths of 60 meters 80 meters and 100 meters so right here i have a, a 60 meter uh cable and we will crack into that and take a look so you're able to see um we have this uh this is a hdmi 2.1 uh, HDMI cable so that's going to be rated for 48 gigabits per second it's going to handle all the HDMI uh, 2.1 specs like variable refresh rate and uh, fixed rain fixed rate link um, FRL HDR wide color gamut all of the things that you're gonna you're going to want this this cable will um, handle for you so before we crack into it let's just look at some information about this i'm going to share my screen and we can kind of take a look at a rundown of the product that we have here today all right if you guys aren't able to see the screen just let me know in the questions area but i do appreciate you uh checking this out here so we have our bullet train cables this is a um 48 gigabit per second cable built for 8k ultra high definition it can handle 10k signals under the hdmi 2.1 specification that is usually built for gaming monitors that are ultra wide this handles hdr high dynamic range uh, metadata and content and so what that does is along with the hdmi signal uh, this metadata is sent along uh, you may have heard of some brand names of this, HDR10, uh, Dolby Vision. There, um, other people are working on it through IMAX and um, through DTS. But right now, HDR, HLG, this cable is gonna be able to handle that metadata that is sent alongside the audio video. Um, and what it does is it takes that metadata, puts it into your computer, or excuse me, your display, and your display is actually able to generate billions and billions of extra colors than it was not able to generate on previous type displays giving that extra wow factor bringing us closer to that um closer to that human vision that we are all chasing uh with audio video so this goes the distance um you can go to bullet train cables you go to our products and 10k aoc right here um you will be able to see that the new lengths are here 60 meters 80 meters and 100 meters what makes these important are these features so let's kind of just run through some of them we have 48 gigabits per second at a uh, 120 frame or frames per second so we're able to do 48 gigabit per second content content that is a bandwidth so that's the amount of data that you can send now separately we're able to use send 120 frames per second so that is what the data would be. So these aren't correlating, but they're just showing that these are the two most impressive new changes in this cable. Is it 
before the max um, refresh rate would be 60 frames per second, we're doubling that to 120 frames per second. That means when a football is thrown at you know 70 miles an hour across the screen, you're going to actually be able to see it. You're, it won't be a blur. It won't be um, hard to tell where it's going. You're going to see the very details because you're getting 120 individual pictures in between each one of um, that second, uh, which is just makes high action in sports so much better. Um, then we have below that CMP cable rating. So we also have plenum rated here because we did want to have, you know, for anybody, however you want to look at it, plenum, you all, you are UL listed. We made sure that this was going to be a professional's cable. And in doing so, we gave it the full CMP rating. So if you're not familiar with CMP, I'm gonna borrow from uh, this other website here that you guys can see. This is going to show the different types of jacket ratings on cables. And as you can see, CMP is the king of them all. And this is the type of rating that you have here. So that covers CL, you know, CL2, CL3, in-wall, plenum, everything is covered with your CMP rating and that's the type of rating that we have with this cable so you're able to take this um this cable you'd be able to put it in wall you'd be able to run it through plenum spaces you that is where air is moving on uh, you know above the uh, drop ceilings and places like that and so you could have this a permanent fixture and that brings us into our aoc advantage this permanent fixture so as i said before this is a permanent fixture what happens when you don't need HDMI? We're talking 10, 20 years down the road. You don't need HDMI anymore, but you have this cable sitting there. Well, it's useless. It's just going to sit. It's going to be like some, you know, some old type of uh, telephone wire that is not being rant used anymore. It's going to be sitting wasted. Well, that's not the case. And that's what makes this so different is you can actually, this, our AOC cables, are built with Clearline SSF. Uh, that's super safe fiber. And if you go to Clearline, you can check them out. They're a, a great manufacturer of um, fiber optics. And we install our cables with Clearline fiber optics. And so what that actually does is inside our cable head right here, I can peel apart, you know, I have my 19 pinouts that are all running throughout. And part of those are this little cable right here and inside this cable i actually have you which i mean it's going to be not detailed enough to see if, uh, of course but you can actually i have these fiber optic little wires right here and there's actually four of them running in those are going to be all your tmds lines which are in the new 48 gigabit per second um hdmi 2.1 spec called lanes so our four lanes are done using uh, AOC and they're using um, this, excuse me, using AOC, using fiber optics. So what we're able to do is the maximum bandwidth on copper is very limited. The maximum bandwidth on optics is not limited. So we can send a lot more data down the stream a lot further, right? Because we don't have the degradation of the signal that we get with copper. When you send a, a copper signal down, the longer that signal goes, it's less powerful as it goes through. But with fiber optics, we're able to send that audio fig audio video signal all the way to the end and that's where we get this right here so um actually i'll just so you guys can see it a little bit better let me see if i can show all my windows my control panel up here and i will stop sharing and so this this is um the cable right here this is a 48 gigabit per second um, bullet train cable we have lopped the end off on the other side is a cable that is now just being used with fiber optics and you can just terminate the ends just like a normal piece of fiber and it is right here so uh, kind of hard to see but there are optical cables in this white jacket four of them they run along the same path and now that is once you install this cable that's installed in your infrastructure you can now terminate it with lcns scns after you've cut them off and you can use that for whatever kind of signaling you want. Um, maybe it's networking, or you're going to use just audio video um, fiber, or you're going to do it with data, or you need it for internet or whatever. 
you're going to be able to use this fiber optic line for whatever you want for the for the rest of the future of that um construction build uh which is is makes us different and you're thinking oh well that's really cool tom it has fiber we can use that and and that's really great but don't touch it and be careful and you know it's hard to terminate fiber and all of that well that's not the case okay i can touch this now i can move it around this is clear line super safe fiber this has a, 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 a proprietary polymer that wraps around it this becomes a safe way of terminating fiber where anybody can terminate fiber in under two minutes if you want more questions on that kind of fiber termination and how to use fiber for audio video just look at our youtube our um, website you will be able to see tons of content where we talk all about it so now that um we have uh looked at looked at the actual cable let's and we have our screen up let's look at what you're going to be getting with this cable so like i said this is a um 48 gigabit per second cable and this is the 60 meter version it comes in this long spool you can see you can see it has room to grow because this can go up to uh, 100 meters it'd be in the same spool so what you're going to get is you have your two ends these are nice ends we have we're using very high quality chips to convert that audio video signal from copper and hdmi signal onto the the um, active optical cable keeping it powered through the five volts that go through what happens though with these very very long cables is that copper inside it isn't able to push that power a lot of times if you have this plugged into a tv or you have it plugged into a source it's supposed to send a certain amount of power out but <coughs> excuse me i promise it's allergies not covid and so if you are trying to put a um a certain amount of power through this long pipe your source may not actually give you enough power so we do include a power um, inserter you can put this on the end and then you can plug it in to uh, any sort of tv wall or whatever you need and it's going to make sure that you are um, keeping the power on both ends keeping that hot plug to tech and taking that 48 gigabits per second content super long distances um, with the with these cables and you this is important right now because we all know what's happening in november is the two hdmi 2.1 sources are coming to market a lot of people always said hey there's no sources for this stuff we don't need this stuff well the xbox series x and the playstation 5 are going to be dropping in november and at that time if you have spent the money to get an 8k samsung tv an 8k um lg an 8k sony you're going and you plug in your Sony PS5 or you plug in your Xbox Series X and you don't get it, get the signals that you want, that's gonna be a problem. And if you have the infrastructure built into what the systems have now, that is going to be what's happening. Now, HDMI 2.1 has this thing called link training. So it trains the link between the source and the sync to make sure it's sending the best optimized signal that it can. So no matter what, like eat it helps the tv will tell the source what it can handle this will actually check the infrastructure not just the display and source and make sure that the signal can go back and forth but what that will do if you don't have a good infrastructure in between is it's going to have this source sending in a degraded signal sending a downscale signal to you to your um tv to make sure that it at least gets a signal through as professional installers we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that we are giving our customers uncompressed, the highest optimized HDMI signal possible. And we do that with bullet train cables. So um, that is everything I have on this bullet train cable. It is in wall rated. It's HDMI 2.1. It's ready for the new sources that are dropping in the next few weeks. I hope that you guys um, enjoyed checking out this HDMI cable. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call 605-274-6055. I really appreciate you guys checking in today and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.